I want Prada. So that's the song goes. You know the one I mean, the TikTok one. Anyway, there's some Prada in this box. Let's get into it. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video for those of you who haven't seen my face before. Hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, slightly like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself, and of course, celebrating others. So, I have an unboxing for you today, and apparently, somehow, I am on trend. Now, a small publication called British Vogue mentioned something about this being the unlikely bag style that was sticking around in 2024. But come on. We know that we all heard it from the fabulous Dale's Addiction, whose video I watched prior to buying this item, but I already had this item on my list. And I was, if Dale tells me I'm on trend, good to go. Add to cart. So yes, definitely go and check out that video where Dale talks about this particular bag style. I will link it down below. Many of you probably know what I'm referring to. But anyway, it is in this box. This is a pre-loved piece, but apparently a great condition piece from Designer Exchange. It is from Prada. It's from Designer Exchange, but it is a Prada bag. And I'm excited. At the moment, I don't have any Prada in my collection. So we're adding in a new brand. We talked about adding new brands, didn't we? Okay, it's not one of the brands I said I was going to add, but I'm adding a new brand that I don't have. Now, of course, the bag style I'm talking about is the clutch. The clutch bag. And I love a large clutch. Um, these are my two main large clutches, Longchamp, Kenzo, Paris. I use this one more than I use this one, but I think the colour in this, this one is in is going to work well. I really hope it's the same size as these, because if it is, it's going to be a win. Anyway, stop waffling, Nick. Get into the box. But hold on, we need to do the, um, the thumbnail, don't we? Thumbnail done. There we go. I'd have chosen something from that. Or discarded them all together if they weren't, you know, particularly cute. Anyway, let's get into the box. So Designer Exchange I buy from quite frequently. They have a few different, they have a few stores um, in and around the UK. I also think, I have a feeling they have a store in Spain. I want to say as well, I'll link them. Of course I will. Um, but I bought a number of pieces from Designer Exchange. I bought mulberry pieces from there. I bought a Gucci that I ended up returning, but it was a super hassle-free returns process. The only thing I know is that if you buy shoes from them, you have to return them to the Chelsea store, I want to say. Um, but yeah, it's always a really hassle-free experience. Um, and I have to say, I've never had a situation with them where they have misrepresented an item. Because that's always the fear with pre-loved, isn't it? That they're going to represent it as being amazing condition and it's not. Um, I've actually been surprised the other way where they've said that things are in fair condition and I've looked at it and gone, that's pretty good, I have to say. Anyway, here we are. We're in well-wrapped. So Size-wise, how are we tracking? Okay, we're, we're about where we need to be, I would say. Maybe it's a little bit smaller than my other two, but that's okay. Is it wrapped in anything? Oh, okay, it's got a dust bag. Oh, a Prada dust bag. Oh, oh I can see the colour. Oh, the colour is really good. The colour is really good. Okay, let's get into this. What comes with it? Oh, the authentic, okay, all of the authentication stuff. Lovely. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, this is great. Oh, okay, I'm keeping it. We already know I am keeping it. Oh, amazing. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's check it. Again, no. This is a three out of five. 
don't know what's causing it to be a three out of five. Is it because it very good? Oh, very good, excellent condition. So their three out of five is like very good condition. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. This beautiful Prada interior. It's got a, po a slip pocket. It's got a zip pocket. Oh my goodness. It says Prada. Pocket. Oh my goodness. How fabulous. Oh, I love it. Size-wise. What are we talking? Okay, it's, it's definitely smaller than the long shop. And that will make it even smaller, again, than the Kenzo. Oh, but I don't care. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Ooh, right, let's take this off because I'm not going to be able to enjoy it until I fully take it off. Right, it's mine. I own it. I own it. Oh, my goodness. Right, how fabulous. So it says Prada on the front. I've shown you the inside. But it's got two pockets. How amazing. So you could have like a card holder in the back and then your phone in the front and then your keys in the centre. And then you've got something in the zip. And oh, this is a freaking good clutch. I almost swore that. Sorry, I don't swear very often. I almost swore that. Oh, who am I? Oh, it's in this beautiful, I'll try and get a better photo in daylight. But it's in this beautiful baby pink and then it has the cream. So it's this bi-colour clutch and it's got gold hardware, which we all know isn't my fave. But look, I am making an exception here because I just think this is freaking fabulous. And I think this will fit quite a lot in it. This is great. This is good. This is a really, really lovely bag. And how fabulous. Prada Milano. I, I love the interior. I think that's beautiful. I love these two pockets on the front and on the back with the magnetic closures. What a gorgeous, gorgeous clutch. Also, doesn't it go with what I'm wearing right now? I mean, I know that the, the pinks are slightly different, but I think you can get away with all of that. I love it. Wow. That is better than I was expecting. Wow. I mean, <laughs> these are expect like, this was obviously wasn't cheap. <laughs> it's Prada. It wasn't cheap. However, I'm really pleased with that. I'm really pleased with that. And I think that'll be a great addition to my collection because I've got some great bags. I have to say, but I love an evening bag. So why have I bought, why have I bought another clutch? And why have I bought another clutch, particularly when I've said in the past that I need to stop buying clutches? To be honest, it's the size and it's how they look on my frame. So that is a roughly 32 centimetre width um, in terms of a clutch. So it's about the same length as like a medium top handle bag, same width as a medium top handle bag. And it's 20 centimetres in height. Um... So it's about the proportions, the minimum proportions that I would go for. Um, this one, I just like the fact that it is that very oversized kind of look to it. But um, the same with the long shot. But I do really like the size of that. And I wear a lot of um, outfits that I think will style with that really nicely. I've also bought another clutch because I've been using them more. When I went on my staycation, I used my Kenzo clutch, but actually it didn't work with the outfits brilliantly. It worked with one of them, not so much the other. I think that pastel blue suit would have looked great with this particular bag. I think that would have been beautiful. Um, I've got weddings coming up, 30th birthdays. I've got quite a lot of formal events coming up. And this is going to be used at said events. Not all of them, because I don't want to wear it out. I don't want this to be the only bag I'm seen with. Um, but I do think for a few of those um, events, a little, little Prada moment, a little flax. It's in Safiano leather. 
So it's that really lovely durable leather. Um, it has sort of a white clean kind of feel to it, which is fantastic for me because I am buying items to use them. I don't want to be worrying about something being an incredibly delicate material and therefore not using it properly um, or using it with love and abandon and joy. I don't want to be that person that sort of clears the table and wipes it all down before I put my bag down. I look after them, of course I do. But if I put it down and there's something and I just quickly wipe it off, that's that's really the goal for me. This, I'm obsessed. I love. It's so much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be good, but I didn't realise, for example, it had those two pockets. I just thought those were almost like... I couldn't tell that that was a pocket. I just thought that was where the leather joined. That's a really great addition. Again, a pocket on the back. That would be great for your phone. You know, your card case in the front, your phone in the back. Obviously, you need to be conscious of security. But to be honest, when it comes to a clutch, if I'm holding it, I'm holding it like this or I'm holding it like this. The only thing is I am a bit of a kind of a raise the roof kind of person when I'm dancing. I'm doing a bit of this. I'm doing a bit of that. Hence why the contents in my bag have gone flying across the dance floor from time to time. Happened to me in Barcelona. I was on a stage. My bag emptied across the floor. I was still holding the bag. The contents were elsewhere. But do you know what? These things happen. Anyway, that is my unboxing. I think it is a great addition to my bag collection. We've added a little bit of Prada into the mix, which I'm very excited about. Lovely dust bag as well. Um, so we've added a bit of Prada into the mix. I think it adds a different quality than my other pieces. This is just quite a fun, bright, but I don't use it all that often. And then, like I said, this is the Kenzo one that can kind of do it all, but it doesn't do everything brilliantly. It's a good all-rounder. But actually, I think there's a time and a place for, for something else. And I think this beautiful, soft baby pink is absolutely that. So there we go. That's the unboxing. I'll leave you there. I'll try and insert some shots um, of it in a nicer light um, than I have just done. But I now own it. I've taken off the tags. It's going to get used. Look forward to styling it and look forward to sharing that with you. Thank you so much as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.